Hello Stampers! Jackie Ballhuis from Clomp and Stampers. You ready to make a masculine card? You know, that's one that I get asked about all the time. It's hard making masculine cards. There's just so many awesome stamp sets that are flowers and girly stuff. Um, but in the new spring, well, it's probably not so new anymore, but in the spring summer mini catalog, they've got this great masculine set called, called Mountain Air. And this is a unique stamp set because they're reversible stamps, which I'm gonna show you what that's all about here in a second if, if you don't have a clue what I'm talking about. So we're gonna make a quick and easy, just like everything I do, masculine card with a mountain scene here. So unique stamp set. I've got lots of tips for you. Let's go ahead, flip this camera down and let's get stamping. Now this stamp set is truly unique because it's called what's what we call reversible. When you look at the images and when you look in the catalog, you kind of see these blob stamps, okay? And then you see the detailed one. This is not two separate stamps. This is the same. This is the same. You can see how they kind of marry up like that. They are designed to be reversible. So you can stamp on this back side, which would give you the, the more just solid fill-in one, or then you flip it over and here's all of our detail. So I'm gonna make a card for you today to kind of get you to understand exactly um, what this means. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start out by putting the stamp on here, what we would really think of is upside down, okay? So the, the detailed image is on the bottom. So this is what we would usually consider the back of the stamp. Now I'm using uh, Seaside Spray ink, okay? It's kind of a big stamp, so I like to ink them up upside down, make sure I have it inked well. And because I'm gonna do this as like a two-step, we're gonna do image on top of image, we're gonna first go on to scrap paper like that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my mountains on my piece of Whisper White cardstock. So it lightened them, okay? Now, if, if you aren't from out west or never really visited out west, um, you know, sometimes they, they call mountains at night, like when the sun's going down, that they have kind of a purplish hue to them. That's kind of what this color reminded me of. And I thought it just made a really soft looking card. So there is that part. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our stamp sham chamois here, and we're going to clean off the back of that. We want to get all that ink off so we don't get it all over our hands and everything. Peel the stamp, and then we're going to flip it and put it on the other way. Now this one is where that detail is gonna come in. So we're gonna ink it up. We are not gonna stamp it on scrap paper first. We're gonna go right on top of here and we have to shift it a little bit. They kind of design these so they would work together even though it's reversed. Um, and there's those mountains. And then I'm gonna ink it up again and just come in here. Oh, I don't know if I can fit that on there. Yeah, we'll double up a little bit. But just finish off a little bit on that side. Now, just to build our mountains a little bit, let's ink this up again, stamp it on scrap paper to get a lot of that color off, and then we can shift it and, and fill in a little bit there and just stamp again. So now you can kind of see the dimension we're getting in our mountains. Now, we're gonna do the exact same thing with the other stamp. So we'll start out and we're going to put it upside down. Okay, the, these are the trees. And oops, let's see, we gotta move that down a little bit here. And we're gonna use gray granite for these colors. So really not your traditional mountain scene and trees that you would use, um, but I just wanted this real soft look. So scrap paper first to get a lot of that ink off of there. And then we're gonna go ahead and just barely have the tops of these trees going into the mountains there. But more importantly, it's kind of giving us this bottom image down here. And I'm gonna slide it down and stamp it again, just to get a little bit more color there. Then we can clean this off um, like so. And we'll go ahead, we'll flip it. And then this time we're gonna use this color full strength. And so we'll kind of match up those trees the best we can. They're not gonna match up perfect. Um, and so you can see how that one comes. And then we, again, we can come down and we'll bring it down just a little bit like so. Now you'll see how I have some extra, or you know, where this stamped off and you got a little extra ink there. 
I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is actually just trim this down a little bit. Um, with these stamps, the more I played with them, I found that kept happening from, you know, sliding stamps around and moving them. So I started a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go grab my paper cutter and trim this. There we go. So this is actually now four and a quarter by three. So like I said, I like to, I found it just was easier starting out bigger than I need when I was playing with these mountain stamps. So let's go ahead and we will adhere this to a piece of basic gray. Um, let's cut just an eighth of an inch larger. Now again, over on the website, I will have pictures of this card along with two other ones that I'm gonna share with you in here just a second. And I'll have pictures of them along with the measurements, the card recipes for all of them. So if you like all the details, hop on over there to see them. Now, let's grab our basic gray here. And why don't we put a couple of these little birds up here, kind of flying, flying over our mountains, like so. And set that aside and then I'm going to grab a scrap, I think I got some sitting here, of Whisper White and then one other stamp set. This one is called Label Me Bold. Now at first when I looked at it I'm kind of like, hmm, not so sure. Oh, but I love these little greetings. So let's go ahead and we're going to use Happy Birthday because I said this is going to be our masculine birthday card because we struggle doing those. Ink that up really good. Remember, on these bold stamps, you got to make sure that you get them inked good. And then when you press them down, give them some nice time. See, I didn't ink that one real good. You know, bold, especially when they're brand new, take just a little bit of work to get them inked up. There, that one's much better. So let's go ahead. After we've done that, I'm going to just take my scissors and we're going to cut it out. So you can just hand cut it. I find that when I hand cut stuff like this, it really does look just a little bit better if you add or you leave a little bit of white. Don't try to cut right up to the image. Leave that just that little bit of white. And then let's grab our mini dimensionals because it's too small for regular size. And I think, yep, they just barely fit on there. If you cut any um, more white off, they might not. You might have to even trim the minis down smaller. So we'll go ahead and peel that off. Now, make sure you stick with me, because like I said, I have two other cards I've made that I'm gonna share with you. Oh, those don't wanna come off there. Okay, so we have happy birthday. We'll just go ahead and stick that right there. So just a really nice, soft card. And then I'm gonna put that onto a piece of the Seaside Spray with our adhesive. Um, they are not my normal bright pop of black um, bold colors, but I really, I, I really was liking this color combination um, with these mountains. I just, I just like the soft look of that. So there we go. There's our masculine happy birthday card, and it shows you how to use reversible stamps. Now let's look at two others. So there are, are some coordinating dies that you can get with the stamp set as well. They'll cut out the mountain ranges um, as well as some trees and some other things. I use the dies just to cut out these trees. I thought those were super cool trees. So my scene here is very similar to what I just made for you. And, but I just added those trees on there and then happy birthday. This one I did use a pop of black. So you can kind of see the difference. This one's softer. Um, with the gray than it is with the black. So whatever your preference is there. And then one other one, completely changed my color scheme here. And we've got crumb cake, and I think this was um, shaded spruce for the green. So I did my mountains and my trees the same way I did with the one I just shared with you. And then I used a greeting from, that's the um, Peaceful Moments stamp set. That's just a great greeting to use with other things. So that's kind of an introduction to the reversible stamp sets. I don't think I've ever had a stamp set before. Um, this is, there's only a couple that Stampin' Up! has done before this way. Um, and I haven't had them before. So I wanted to share these cards with you so you understand what it is when they say reversible stamps. They're literally reversible. You can use both sides of it um, for your image. So if you have any questions, make sure to let me know. Hop on over to my website over there. You'll see pictures along with the card recipes and all the supplies I use. And if you'd like to place an order for any of these products or anything else Stampin' Up, I really appreciate it when you select me to be your Stampin' Up demonstrator. Make sure you also check out my rewards program because I love to give my customers free stamps. So until I stamp with you again, have a stamp happy day.